Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Well, it's December, the holiday season's upon us, and it's that time of year we start thinking about you know, giving gifts to others, maybe gifting something to ourselves. And for the photographer crowd, I wanted to share three ideas for you. These are uh, really low price point things that I use in my photography all the time. They're really mainstays of my kit. I've got the links to all the products below. And well, let me just uh, get into them, let's get going. Number one is lens coat hoodies from Lens Coat. Now they make a variety of products to protect your lenses. I like the hoodies and uh, they're just a stretchable material, fits over the front of your lens, just like a lens cap would, but they're much bigger, they're sturdier, they grip the outside of the lens, they're a lot less likely to lose than a lens cap. And what led me to this product is, this is one of my A7R2s. See on the front, I've got my ring here, my adapter ring for my square filter system. Lens caps don't fit with my system, and so I needed an alternative because for me to keep taking the, the ring off and on all the time, I'm shooting with filters so often, that became cumbersome in the field, and I need to stay nimble, and I also want to keep my front element protected when I'm out shooting. So now I have the coat, just kind of pull it right over, and it's very quick, very easy to do, and it lets me keep my filter rings on so I stay more nimble in the field. Now the hoodies, they run about $15, you know, and you need to get the right size. Just go old school, grab out a ruler, measure the diameter, the front of your lens, and that'll tell you what coat to get. They run like, you know, or the range of, you get this size if you have a diameter of a lens that's say between three and four inches, that kind of thing. Pretty self-explanatory when you look at the product descriptions, but check them out. I think you'll really enjoy them. Number two is the Filter Hive from MindShift. So this is it here. You can get an idea of how big it is. So it's it's not uh, like a tiny compact thing, but it's not massive. And it's the right size for me. What it fits is all of my filters. So if I open that up, take a quick peek here, but I'll show you a better graphic where you can see I've got my square filters, my polarizer, an extra filter holder. I have space for lens cloths, lens wipes, all that kind of stuff fits in the Hive. And what's great is on the back, it's got a strap like this that gets draped around my tripod. So right around the top of my tripod where my ball head is, the filter hive sits and all of my stuff is at hand's reach. I don't have to put anything on the ground. I don't have to mess around with some of those like, you know, unfolding accordion style filter holders where they get very long very quickly and it can be sometimes a challenge to prevent things from falling out and we don't want our filters falling they can break they can just get dirty or in some cases you're in a spot where you can't put something on the ground the wet beach the tides threatening to uh, to get you in my case i might be knee deep in water i certainly can't put anything on the ground so the filter hive comes in it's a great solution it runs in the neighborhood of fifty dollars and uh it's it's been one of the best purchases that i've made over the years for uh for accessory gears Number three, last but not least, are platypods. Now, I've done separate videos on platypods before, and I use them all the time. They're incredibly versatile, very stable, great platforms for your camera. Anytime you can't bring a tripod somewhere, or you want to get an extremely low angle, or you want to you know, lash something to a tree and take a photo from an interesting angle like that, you know, platypods are the perfect fit for that. Uh, I keep them in my bag all the time. Uh, half of the video you'll see in my other videos I'm out in the field, those are shot using the platypod. So you just have a platypod, you get yourself a ball head, like you know something like this. This is a, a small one from Benro, and you're off to the races. Now there's two different models. There is the Ultra, which is this small one here. You can get an idea of how, how tiny and you know, small this is. It comes with the screws that you can set up. All I need is one. You know, I got one, two, three. Those are my three points. I've got myself a tripod. The other one is the Max. This is for your, your larger cameras. So I would advise that if you are shooting with a DSLR, you certainly want to use the Max. If you're shooting with, uh, like this is a you know, Sony full frame with good glass, I'd still advise getting the Max. It's a, a stronger platform, a little bit bigger, so it can hold that heavier camera. But you're shooting like say Fuji or a Sony a6500, smaller uh, Ultra is going to be fine. Depending on the model and accessories you get, runs around a hundred dollars us uh, but yeah, these are mainstays of my kit and i can't believe how many times i turn to them now to get the angles that i want and the photos that i need
Well, there you go. Three photo themed gifts for this holiday season. Maybe one or more of those looked good to you and uh, they'll become part of your kit before the end of the year. Speaking of which, everyone have a wonderful holiday season. Wish you and yours nothing but the best. Cheers.